Okay guys, so um, instead of me explaining for 5 minutes exactly what is going on, um, I, I thought I'd cut this short. Mumbo Jumbo is on the server uh, at this time of me recording, so I thought, hey, let's record it and go and see where it is. Uh, and it took me about, I think, 10 minutes for me to explain it, and then, it, yeah, I've, I've cut it up in parts, uh, so you guys don't have to go through about five minutes of me typing a sign or whatever so you know what guys hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and uh, yeah we gonna start it off by uh, seeing mumbo jumbo okay so diamond king is actually gonna show me now where his base is um, where his base at and um, the funny thing is that actually mumbo jumbo is actually over there uh, supposedly being AFK so hopefully we can see the man himself in a animated version <laughs> you know what guys i'm not i'm not meet you when uh, when we're over at his base and oh i think that is mumbo is it that is indeed mumbo jumbo uh hold on does he have a shit do i have any wood on me well guys, um, so I finished with the signs, um, it was so di it's so difficult with signs, like, you, you know that you can't really like, you can't type too much on one sign, and that's the issue, so hopefully he doesn't just log off, he actually takes a look and uh, look at these signs, and I'm gonna show you mine, so what I said at first is, I'm not on here to see you all the time, and that's not true, I'm on here because of all the members. And if it wouldn't be for all the members on here, I would not keep playing on here. I mean, seriously, it's, you know, that they are the one that's, that keeps me wanna log into the server and uh, play. And as I said there, they are the reason to why I keep playing on here, on Slash Phoenix. So, and then I also said, the first thing I did was, hey Mumbo, thank you, thank you. This server has helped my YouTube so much, and it is true. Um, I, I really want to thank all of you who are patrons on here and are watching my YouTube videos. Even if you're not a patron on here, but you're still watching these episodes, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, it's truly amazing. Um, it's it's unbelievable. I love the community. So, so I love the community. So many great people on here. And then the sheet to Phoenix on e basically YouTube. I, I wanted to put e YT. I think Y. YT, I think that's how you say, yeah, but, but, um, and then we had these here, I remember I was wondering, you know, Diamond King is in need of some help on his sorting system over here, yay, Mambo is on, that is absolutely amazing, glad to see you on, uh, I mean, oh, and he's reading my signs now, wow, that's awesome. So I just throwed up, uh, throwed, throwed up, um, what, do you, what do you call it, OBS. So I'm hoping, I'm, I was fixing the settings, and right when I tabbed out, like, I was just trying to do a test recording, and right when I tabbed out, Mr. Mumbo Jumbo joined. Ah, man, um, so do you have some spare time, or are you going away? Okay thought if you wanted to check out my base it's fine if you don't it's a bit of far it's a bit far from here I have all right yeah it's um it's awesome man happy to see mumbo on it's it's amazing so i probably have cut this video a lot uh, to this point here so you know what um it's been an honor to be able to chat with mumbo jumbo himself i mean uh, i can't believe this is actually thank thank you <laughs> bill 
Okay, guys, so, uh, let's do a proper intro to this episode. Um, <laughs> welcome back, guys, to another MamboCraft episode. And that is now in a proper intro, because that's not how I start my intros. What is up, guys? It is Phoenix here, and welcome back to another MamboCraft episode. Now, that is how I start an uh, intro on here. Jeez. So, I, I actually apologize for the beginning of the episode. It was... <sighs> It was, it, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I have no words for it, so, yeah, but, um, so I didn't really explain what I was gonna do in the intro of the, or in the beginning of this episode, and it was not just gonna be an episode of, about Mambo, okay? In today's episode, we're gonna build a automatic, automatic snow farm, or, yeah, you, a poor squid again, man, oh no, how many times do I have to tell you? To not be there, man. And you do that? Are you I, I am not gonna fix that right now. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, can you... As, I'm, I'm, I'm going in the ocean, okay? I'm that scared of creepers. So as you guys can see, um, all these mountains surrounding my base, which, is abs which looks absolutely beautiful. There's something I want to do with them. I want to cover the top of the mountains and a, bit, a little bit down of them with snow. That way it looks even more um, nicer when you come to this place. Um, and I'm not going to do the backside. I'm only going to focus on this front here. Because obviously, uh, eventually I want to set up a nether portal to this place. So when you actually come in here, you're only going to see what's surrounding the area. Um, but um, I am not really too... Um, into going and collecting a bunch of snow with a shovel. I'd rather be able to have it, uh, you know, have my PC on rent while I'm rendering a video or whatever and just automatically collect snow. So I've prepared an area here um, and this is where we're gonna build this snow farm. And I've done testing, made sure that this will work both in 1.11 and 1.10, but obviously mostly 1.10 because that's what we are on on this server. Um, and it uh, does. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the creator of this farm. Absolutely amazing. It was. It's a great tutorial. Really in depth. Uh, shows you exactly how many materials you need, how big space you're gonna need, and just everything. Um, so make sure to go and check it out. Okay. Um, but we have a row of uh, a row of chests here and. This is in total eight double chests in a row. So what we're gonna do here now is that we're gonna be placing not uh, placing hoppers all around here. And I'm not gonna build this entire thing on camera, even though it is fairly simple to build, like fairly quickly to build. I don't still don't want to show it fully on camera. Now what I believe is one, two, yes, this is the side that you're gonna be standing in. So we're gonna do this here. Can remove that block later on and uh, just to fill all these blocks in here jump up in there remove that block and uh, haste to yeah um also uh thought i might as well tell you this is a uh i think it's about so this is about l wait 11 um 12 13 about about 15 th 34 yeah about 15 blocks wide but you only gonna need a uh, what is it? A 11 by 5 uh, area to build this thing in. So, um, that is quite good, but I built this a lot bigger. Um, this and up. I, never mind. So, then we're going to be placing in the water in there. And uh, let's do that there. So, we're going to place a row of glass like this here. Gonna do it like that. And bam, bam. There we go. And let's leave this block here for now. So, um, now I need a fence post. Yay. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, we're going to have a fence post on that block right there. Uh, if I remember correct, we're going to have a block right here. Add one block there. And then we're going to uh, add another block right there with a sticky piston facing that way. Perfect, and let's see. We have dirt blocks. Perfect. I I'd rather use that as scaffolding. Um, and from now, we're then going to be taking this block out by one. 
and then place one of those there go out by two I no 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 yeah like that um I'd rather use let's just put um this block right there I want to switch it to another clay block later on uh and then we're gonna make a sort of a cross here like that and then we're gonna make a another one right here with a block right like so we're gonna remove oh, oh no <laughs> wrong block do that remove that block and that block and this should yes this works perfect add another block right there remove that and um, now it's time to place the redstone okay guys so i uh <laughs> decided to use the build in terrafane and let's shut this thing off um i'm actually gonna double check real soon to make sure that i got everything there we go i have that shut off let's switch that block into one of these that way i just know that that is a extending piston so uh let me explain what's going on here so um this block right here hold on as you okay so now we have it better here so this plot is uh normally on 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 this here and what's gonna happen is we don't have the snow golem uh, falling in and sort of standing on that block right there so it's gonna be enough space for him to like basically stand on that and he will trade snow on this block what's gonna happen then is when once um you hit the lever there it's gonna send a pull signal um uh, from this dust here transferring that like so that piston goes up when that goes up it activates this uh, repeater on one tick and then that redstone dust so it activates that piston what it's trying to do is that it's gonna uh retract it uh, oh no, no yeah uh, re 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 retract what well, yeah you know what i mean it's trying to pull it back and um, when it pulls it back uh, or uh, back in, in its place it's gonna create more snow and this is um i'm not really too sure to why this is you know going on oh yeah not now i know now i know because once you all the snow gets collected it's only on one block right so eventually they despawn but when they retract all this snow will fall into these hoppers in the water stream and collecting all these chests um eventually so um that is basically how this works now what we're gonna do here now is that we're gonna add a row of droppers and this is gonna be the shovel filter that will sp that, that will basically spit out uh, shovels uh, to me while I'm standing AFK and um, that way none of the um, so that I can keep going basically uh, without worrying about anything else yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna set up all the droppers here we're gonna have four droppers starting right next uh, to that redstone dust I'm gonna show you once I've done that okay guys so we now have the droppers so let's put them in place yeah let's do that all right so we're gonna droppers yeah perfect so we're gonna do let's do that there oh that was a bit iffy let's yeah here we go we got it so one two three and four and then we're gonna place one on this block and one on that no not like that stupid like that there we go so now let's remove that block remove that block and we're gonna place a hopper that is gonna go in there and we are then gonna have a double chest here uh filled with shovels and then we're gonna have a dropper can i get that no not that that's wrong hold on <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Perfect. Now, uh, there we go. So, and like that. So, and now we're also gonna have a. Where is it at? Um, I have. I can't reach that. There it is. So we're gonna have a double chest. Um, that's done. Normal, simple chest. Uh, make sure this is not a trapped one because if it is once you open it or whatever it, it, it's most likely gonna mess something up here um, and what is um, now gonna happen here Ew, um, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute hold on 
Okay, okay, it, it, it's not me being broken or anything, but I did forget about something. Um, of course, I would forget about something. I wouldn't die. You know, that's just typical me. So let's go down here. We're gonna need a half slab. This is where we have our stone. I'm not gonna need that much. I'm only gonna need two slabs. So, but let's make as many as I can there. Perfect. Put you back in there. And, um, yes. Um, now I think, you know what, let's, um, there is a few more things here that I'm gonna need, so we're gonna take that right there, we're gonna need some fence post, uh, fence post, uh, we're gonna need a trap door right there, and I had chest here, obviously, <laughs> you know, that's just, uh, well, I do need ladders, so let's bring that with us, and I'm not gonna need any more droppers, so let's put those in there. Uh, same with tripwire. I'm not gonna need any more tripwires for the trap chest. Not gonna need any more pistons. Um, and let's see. Did I have a? I I have snow in here. I believe yes. Um, so let's make perfect. And now I need. I have enough to make fence. Uh, fence gates though. Well, not fence gates. A uh, fence post. So that's that's good though. Any other block fell down here? Not look. Doesn't look like it. Most likely in like one of these chests. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's see now. We're gonna have a hopper going into that block right there. And then we're gonna have a full block. Oh yeah, put the slab on first. Let's do that. Bam. And then we're gonna have a full block here. Don't have a block there because obviously then you can't open the chest or anything like that. And now we can actually go two tall on each block that is not like well where you basically can go full blocks there so we're gonna do that there perfect and now it is time to put in the snow golem also make sure that you're building this above level 64 like whatever starting on or whatever make sure that you're on level above level 64 um it this does work even if you are in like in a another biome than the extreme hills or another snow biome uh, on that end, if you're in a desert, uh, make sure to build this in a, um, make sure to build this in a uh, ocean, like a, you know, where a ocean, like a, um, well, what do you call those? A river? Yeah, yeah, make sure to build it in a river biome, because if you, like, instantly, if you put it in a, uh, in a, what do you call it? <laughs> Man, I'm losing words. If you put it in the desert, the snow golem will instantly, uh, basically take damage and die no matter if you have a roof above it or whatever um, it's just gonna die and I don't know why but I guess it's just the actual biome I have no idea um, so we're gonna have fence post right there yes and then do this here and now um, let's get you in there I hope I have everything needed so we're gonna place the snow blocks on top of here Bam, bam. Yeah. Uh, nudge, nudge you in there. And you're in. Perfect. So, let's, um, uh, there's my axe. So, we're gonna do this here. And remove that one and that one. And place a block right there. And uh, with a half slab on top of that one with a i can also fill in that block right there and put the trapdoor above this now uh or wait no with a trapdoor right here. nope it need oh wait hold on now it works perfect so uh we're gonna need a ladder day oh i'm stuck <laughs> i'm stuck in the farm Great, uh, let's, oh, here we go, made it, and a ladder there, now the reason why I'm putting ladders here and there, and not on this wall, is because once the shovels uh, get shut off, they intend to get stuck and start despawning, um, and so make sure you place the ladders like this, that's a lot easier, so when this is, yeah, alright. So what we want this thing to do is obviously it's gonna be closed on the or like open on default, and when you start to farm, it's basically gonna be uh, closing on you. 
um, and I believe there is really nothing else to this um, other than um, I forgot how um, how they work now like uh, I, they sh no they shouldn't die because of the I'm, I, it's just me being stupid here you know I haven't even like used a I never built a automated s snow golem or snow farm so I have no idea how um, how snow golems react to torches at all um, but I believe that is about it so now what we can actually do uh, before we test this, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna fill this with um, with some uh, stone shovels, most likely. Um, but you know what I was thinking when I was uh, building this in my testing? Uh, it's it's that um, what if you would have had a sort of a a, a mob farm a, or something, a automated automated um, HP farm, um, and it, you would get HP uh, automa automatically and I believe that you could actually fit in like something right here or, or there you know because HP can tra travel through corner blocks I think or either way somehow well at least in 1.10 you can do uh, use um, pistons to transfer the XP to you but either way what if you would have had that then you could have had a uh, diamond shovel with mending or any other shovel with mending and you could have kept going and kept getting XP all the time. I mean, that would have been <laughs> quite sick, but yeah, um, would have been a bit more uh, advanced as well. T a bit, a bit too cramped, but it could have worked. Either way, let's uh, give this a test. So we're gonna stand on that block right there, and we're gonna see what's happened. So you just hold down this block or the uh, basically the uh, mouse to break blocks, you know and you can see that it's happening and what I mean by that is as you can see this is what I talked about the blood retracts and the snow falls down now some snow intend to actually get stuck on the cob cobblestone um, wall there but that is uh, fine I mean either way if this is a, a, a bit of looseless farm you still get a ton of snow I mean standing here for a few hours leaving your computer uh, uh, on for the night you're gonna have plenty of snow so now what we can do is open this up and just basically uh, turn it off and we can see uh, oh uh, you can actually pick them up through that corner block so let's see yeah let's search for <laughs> any other uh, so but you can see that the farm is working very good and obviously if you're rich why not use diamond shovels I mean I might actually do that just because um, but now we actually have a full working snow farm uh, which is absolutely amazing so the question here though is what about these blocks here I, oh yeah obviously I don't need them I hate haste too in certain ways uh, because you break like you slay through blocks like crazy so this is this is all that is needed for this farm I mean it's very simple very quick to build but there is something I want to do to this room I want to make it look nice okay um, so that is what I'm gonna do now and when I've d done all that I will be back with you guys okay guys so um, I've done a little bit of work and I gotta say this snow farm it's absolutely insane I think that was AFK for maybe I don't know maybe 10 minutes Fill this up plus the hoppers. Fill this up plus the hoppers and start it on this one. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna need a bigger storage system. That's for sure. But then again, I mean, I don't need that much snow. But um, I am definitely gonna add a bigger storage system. What I think I'm gonna do is probably um, I think I'm gonna have this here as main storage, obviously, but then have. Uh, at the end here have a hopper going down into maybe uh, there or wherever in the base to a uh, more deeper storage of the snow because mm, there's no need for me oh I, yeah there's no need for me to actually uh, sort of route this into my proper storage system once I decide to make that like my automated one because I am you know I'm just getting tons of snow here 
so I'd rather have a um, separate storage system for all of this but the snow farm is working perfectly and uh, I mean I didn't even use that much on my shovel probably only four like 400 uses on this no 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 actually about maybe 200 uses and I so it is doing good for me for sure um, so as you can see I've been doing a bit of filling here filling in the walls with snow and I do like it and in the roof I'm planning to have some pad dyes uh, like uh, spikes uh, going down and having the sea lanterns with some uh, blue stained glass um, or blue stained paints as um, sort of like the dripping or whatever and then I made a staircase up to this so that you can just stand in here and I mo like some of you are probably not think that well you should have built this like lower in the ground so all you have to do is hop in a hole and stand there but and yeah that's correct that's probably the better way but I want to be able I want people to be able to see this whole thing so that you know if they want to build it themselves or whatever you know uh, that's why I'm making this entire room look nice um, <coughs> in the beginning and I want this to be a proper part of my base so yeah that's why I'm doing this um, on this wall here though I think I'm only going to go with some uh, regular like just do this here I'm going to put a torch up in there because yeah don't want mobs to spawn in there uh, as far as lighting goes I am most sh uh, like I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, oh that is trying to mess it up as well trap let's do this uh, any nope no more gravel so um yeah I'm on a good way here and I do like the way it is starting to look like uh, so far so I'm gonna keep at this uh, can we maybe put a torch like that perfect that way I can fill in all of this here because um, I don't want any mobs to spawn in here uh, even though if they are like in in close there I, I, don't, I don't want that to happen and either way um, so what I'm thinking here is I could actually mo probably do this here like add a few like I don't know like snowy mountains around here like that I don't want to overdo it either uh, but I am in uh, I like I like the way this room is turning out to be and I think it's gonna be even looking better once I've got the ice spikes in place so let me do a bit more work on this um, I'm definitely probably not I'm most likely not gonna need to do AFK again uh, to actually finish this room but um, yeah I'm not I'm not most likely finish the whole entire room and then uh, show you the end result so I'll see you in a second okay guys are you ready to see the finished product product I cannot pronounce that okay here we have it and I I'm in love with this room I mean uh, yeah I mean I should have probably put some other blocks than behind that than just leaving it to like stone or the ugly blocks but 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 um I I love this roof or, or the room in, in itself I just yeah let's just take a screenshot why not you know and uh, I also switched uh, the clay to um, uh, white glass or white stained glass because I think that looks better plus no mobs can actually spawn on this now so it's it's more proof or spawn, like mob proof I guess uh, we do have one more uh, stained thing here so let's do this here and that one do that and down here we can um, like that and perfect so uh, look at this so I added um, the blue stained glass uh, or panes as of like ice like I don't know what to call it really I, I, I'm sure you know what I mean like but to in addition to the ice spikes and um, as you can see there's some sea lanterns up in the in the roof and on in the walls here just to make it bright and sort of look I, I don't know I, I just love the uh, vibration you get or like the feeling I, I don't know what I, I get like I get such a feeling when I come in here I, I just get happy <laughs> I love the room and um, I think this turned out great so guys uh, if you did enjoy this episode um, make sure to leave a like um, just that's always appreciated um, it would be awesome if we did five likes maybe even ten likes I mean 
uh, I've never asked for that high of a number, 10 likes, but if we can hit that, that would be amazing. And if you watched it till the end of this video, uh, make sure to comment. Uh, ooh, what, I, I, I love to do this. What should you comment this time? Um, hashtag 10 likes. Yeah, yeah, hashtag 10 likes if you made it till the end of this video. Uh, but that has been it for it. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next uh, video episode. Have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.